guys in. In this video, I want to talk about how you can dial in your espresso at home. And I named this video like this on purpose because I'm not a barista, not a professional. I'm just an ordinary home enthusiast who uh, decided, who once decided to start brewing espresso at home and uh, bought a presumed espresso machine, all of that um, required stuff. So what I think is that internet lacks this type of experience shared uh, by non-professionals, by mature people, and I hope that this video will help you to finally dial in your espresso. And I remember myself watching tons of videos by professionals and uh, I still, it feels like I came to my ideal espresso shot uh, by myself, by my personal experience, because, you know, you are watching these videos and they are talking about all of these uh, nuances, um, uh, taste shades, uh, if it's proper to call it like this. And uh, you're just listening to this and you feel like you do not understand these particular details. And uh, you are still going and trying and uh, making your way by yourself. So I think that I've developed an ideal for me method to dial in espresso from scratch using a fresh package of beans and I want to share this with you so that maybe it will help you to finally brew a great shot without wasting like a half kilo or even kilo of coffee. Let's start right now. I'm sorry, I need to make a short disclaimer. There is a kind of start a pack that you need to have to be able to take my advice and apply it in your life. So the first one is a fresh pack of coffee beans, uh, not older than one month after the roasting date, because uh, that's a golden rule for espresso. So make sure that you have one. The second one is uh, roasting type. Uh, I have an average roasting, not dark, not light. Um, in such a way, it will be easier for you to, to take my experience and to apply it successfully. The third one is a real burr grinder. Um, I have a Bratz Seta 270. And the last one is a Persumer Espresso machine. Uh, I uh, created another video about this. What do you need to have for a great espresso? And uh, I described mentioned all the arguments, so you may go and watch it, uh, maybe, Sarah. But now I don't want to spend time on this. And now we can start. Sorry, but we need to talk about some theory, but I promise that it will be very quick and uh, it's like a minimum that you must know. Uh, so, your espresso shot is dependable on four, these four parameters. The first one is uh, grinder settings. Uh, that's uh, the size of your coffee beans being grinded. The second one is beans weight. That's uh, the weight you are going to put in your grinder and uh, to blend them to get a coffee tablet or a coffee pillow. The third one is a time of ex extraction because uh, you know that you can extract your coffee beans for 25 seconds, for 30 seconds, for 35 even, um, and it varies and it influences the extraction, the taste, uh, so it's also very important. And the first one is your espresso weight, your final weight of coffee that you are getting in your cup. And the complexity of the subject is that grinder settings influence type, time of extraction. They also influence drink's weight. Beans weight also influence time of extraction and drink's weight. Time of extraction influences drink's weight so what we see here is two parameters that are not codependable. Actually, they are, but uh, not 
directly. We can uh, reduce beans weight to adjust it to the grinder settings. For instance, we can make a large blend, large parts of coffee, and uh, then we will need to put more coffee beans to increase the weight of coffee to, to be at the same time of extraction and drinks weight. Nevertheless, that's a whole another story. At the beginning, what we need to know is that we are uh, making green settings first and uh, uh, setting beans weight and then we are going to watch what we are getting here. We will analyze the time of extraction, the speed of extraction, the drinks weight that we are getting, its taste, and then we are going to turn back and adjust these two to have particular this and particular this. Well, it sounds really complicated, but let's begin applying it on practice and you will see that uh, you can do this. So what is really difficult in espresso brewing, I suggest, is uh, that for Barazza Sette you have approximately 20-25 uh, grinder settings because it uh, includes not only figures, it includes also 10 letters. For bean weight uh, you may put from 17 to 18.5 grams, meaning that you have 15 different variables because you are counting up to the tenths of gram. I'm not good at math, but if I'm not mistaken, this means that you have up to 375 different options, <laughs> different combinations of these two, only two parameters. <sighs> this really sucks. But of course, in reality, everything is way more easy and let's try. So, imagine you preheated your espresso machine, you are ready to make a great espresso and where are you going to start? You have your fresh pack of coffee, beans, and what I suggest is to start with an uh, average normal setting for your coffee grinder. You may, may google this information on the web for the Barazza Setter 270. Uh, I saw a suggestion of 9E, 9E for espresso, but I am putting it, but uh, what I discovered on my personal experience is that an average for Barazza Setter is actually 8E. I've used like, I've tried 12 different coffee beans. Uh, all of them were of average roasting. And this is what really worked for me. And uh, I must mention that I have this metal pot inside of the grinder. I will show it somewhere there. So you may or you may not believe this, but this is the average. I really uh, spent like one year of uh, very active espresso brewing uh, using these settings and this understanding of average. That's why I propose you to start with the average settings. Uh, if you have another grinder, then you just go on the web, Google it. Maybe you will have on some forums that people write about their averages and an average means that this is like a basis a golden standard but of course it will vary depending on your beans it may go up or it may go down it depends but if you have a fresh pack and you do not want do you do not know what you are dialing with, then it's very logical for you to start with an average. Also, what I suggest is starting with 18 grams of coffee beans put in the grinder, in the basket, because uh, it may vary from 17 to 
18 and 7 in my case it was like that uh, so that's a big range but again 18 grams is a kind of golden standard of uh, a double espresso and you are using a double basket because you have a prosumer espresso machine so i suggest starting from this and again it will it may go up and down according to to your ta ta taste preferences to your ideal understanding of ideal espresso shot so uh, that is where you're going to start and now we are moving to the variables that you cannot set ideally without knowing what your beans are doing to these parameters. How do they react? How they are being brewed? So here I'm going to write down a range for you because here I cannot just suggest you try 30 seconds rule because here you will have to analyze the brewing process right uh, at the moment. So what does this mean? If you put all of this, uh, put your basket and you see that your espresso is running like a river, then of course you will have to stop it earlier because you do not want to have like 70 grams of coffee in your cup that's not an espresso anymore and uh, that's a very stupid uh, metaphor of course you will not get something like this you will get for instance um, 32 seconds and then you would like to stop it because you will see that uh, you already have enough of coffee in your cup and I'm going to write down these ranges in case these two uh, already work good. In case they do not work good and you get something completely, uh, completely different, not espresso anymore, something crazy, stupid, then you just stop your extraction and uh, pour it away, pour it uh, out and uh, drastically change your coffee grinder settings and uh, your uh, coffee weight. But your approximate range here is from 25 grams. I'm sorry, we are talking about the extraction time. So your range is from 25 seconds to 33 at a maximum that's based on my experience and uh, it's quite a big already everything beyond that starts to feel very bitter and uh, even so sour in a bad way in a bitter way uh, so you do not want to go beyond this and i'm usually making a three seconds of pre-flow uh, that's why if you are not using a preflow, and I am going to not use it today, as I'm showing you my dialing in process, uh, then 33, it's really maximum of seconds of time that you are going to get. And the fourth one is the weight of your coffee. Here is a range as well, because it depends and it's up to you to see the process of extraction to make conclusions and to adjust it. But a range here will be from 30 grams. That's a golden st standard actually. To a maximum of 40 grams. Of course, it depends on the beans because some beans you really want to uh, brew uh, longer to get a bigger amount of espresso in your cup because it influences the taste. And some beans you are just brewing at 30 and stop. And this is a maximum. Now I want to refresh your knowledge if you know or maybe you do not know it yet uh, how the extraction goes. The first taste you get in your cup is sour. Uh, it can be good, it can be bad, but that's the first uh, on the scale of extraction. The second one is sweetness. And the last one is bitterness. 
I suppose it's Zaurinus, but never mind. So, uh, these three give you a very good espresso, very balanced, nice, but you may uh, correct your recipe according to the desired taste that you want to get in your cup. Because, you know what, um, some people are brewing espresso in such a way that they get a more sour taste, but it's not bad. It's uh, not uh, this terrible sour taste. It's very light, very tasty, with fruity notes, you know that. And uh, if you want your espresso to be more sour in a good way, then you need to brew it faster, meaning then that your ideal uh, brewing time will be somewhere there, more there than there. And then you also will need to... No, you will not, because uh, it uh, does not... Uh, it is not reflected in the coffee weight. Uh, everything is about the brewing time, but of course it depends uh, on your grinder setting, settings as well. I'm just talking like about the average. If you want your espresso to be more sweet, balanced, then you would like to have the average settings. And if you want uh, bitterness in your coffee, um, very good looking crema, then uh, you will need to make a full extraction. You will need to brew it longer. If your grinder settings again are um, put properly and you will need it to have maybe even less grams, but that's also not a rule. What really impacts is the brewing time. I like my espresso to be balanced and to be even more sweet. And uh, that's why today I will show you everything to have a balanced cup. I am using a fresh pack of beans, which I haven't used yet. So, and what I am going to do is to remove the three seconds of pre-flow that I currently have on my settings on espresso machine uh, so that I will have a quest to dial in espresso from scratch as I promised you and you may have a look at that and uh, try to do the same with your coffee beans with your espresso machine and with your grinder let's start as I told you I'm going to the settings and making an off for the pre-flow so that my extraction will start uh, immediately after I uh, press the button. Uh, this is what uh, they have in most of the Prosume Espresso machines and uh, it will be easier for you to take my experience. Now we are going to move according to my scheme and the first one is uh, setting a grinder on 8E. Here is 8. And here is E. Now let's wait 18 grams of coffee. It's so interesting for me to uh, see what I'm going to get because that's a new pack of coffee and uh, I've been drinking uh, like the one I got used to for quite a long time so I've uh, not been dialing espresso for two months I think uh, because I had my ideal recipe so it's interesting also I never turned off my pre-flow because I get used to it Got used to it. I like it. So now I have some flashbacks from the start of my espresso brewing experience.
what is a constant is the strength of your pressing. You should really practice this and you should uh, make it the same all the time. Because you see that there is quite a lot of parameters uh, without the strength of pressing. You do not need another one. You should have it stable. So uh, train and practice. Look here, you need to record both the weight of your espresso here and the brewing time. And if your espresso machine does not have uh, this plate uh, where the brewing time counts, then you need your scales to have this because uh, you need to track both of these parameters. Let's look at what we are going to get in real time. I think that it goes a little bit too fast. 15, 22. Yes, it's not right, it's too fast. I think that there is no sense in even trying this, but I will. Uh, 25 seconds for there and 43.3 grams. I think you see that I've already um, made it bigger and that's not good but still of course we will try it and make conclusions because it's not 50 it's not 20 seconds don't forget that you should write down all of your uh, sequences because that's the way you are going to make corrections and uh, do not try to memorize all of this that's impossible really you do not have to do this just write down your grind the settings, sorry, that's not it, 8AE, uh, your weight of coffee beans, 25 seconds of extraction and 43.3 grams of final espresso weight. That's too big according to my scheme and uh, these are good but 25 I think it will not be good. I smell that it's already not good, but we will try. Sorry for the light, maybe it's not good enough. You remember that you should always have your spoon near yourself because you cannot drink espresso without mixing it. Mm. Have a look at the crema. It's quite rich. But uh, we are talking about the taste here, so the taste is more important. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> That's not what I was ready for. <laughs> You may turn off the video. <laughs> it didn't work as I expected, really. Um, I must have showed you like the whole process of struggle and so on. But now it seems to me that it will be quick, right? Like this time. <laughs> well, it's too watery and uh, it's already a little bit bad sour you know you may have this uh, good sour at the no you may have this very bad sour at the beginning then you will have this uh, ideal sour and at the end when bitterness comes uh, you may have this very uh, unpleasant sour plus waterness so it's not good Well, it's uh, drinkable, but it's not tasty, really. It's too watery and um, it has a strange taste, of course, because it was 
uh, brewed only 25 seconds and there was already 43 grams in a cup, which is not good. So now it's time to adjust the recipe. Maybe you do not like how I describe the taste. Well, that's because I am amateur and I think, I truly believe that most of people who do espresso at home, make espresso at home, they <laughs> describe themselves uh, the same. So um, what I'm going to do is now to put plus minus here to mention that, that it was watery, um, not like full bodied. If there is such a term, <laughs> I heard that there is. Um, and a little bit of bad Zara there. Uh, so I may not describe it right, but I know for sure what I have to do to adjust it. And I think that that's enough. Sorry, but I was not recording video, so I'm gonna repeat everything that I told. Um, why these figures appeared on this list. <laughs> they appeared because, let me cross them. Um, as I told you, it was a little bit sour, but I know the sour plus a slight bitterness. And uh, I know that the extraction already was enough. And what I also think is that and that despite of the fact that uh, the flow was quite fast, uh, there was a lot of weight in the coffee cup. Uh, from the taste, I understand that it was enough. It was really enough. It was not too enough, but it was already balanced, plus a little, little bit over extracted. But because of a big amount of water, it was not so noticeable. But I know this taste. So... If you feel sour plus bitter in your cup, even a slightly, then you should know that this sour is not under extracted coffee. This sour means a little bit over extracted. So what I want to do now is to decrease extraction a little bit. And there are two ways of doing this. But another way of decreasing the extraction is to put a little bit more coffee beans in your grinder and in your basket. Let me explain how it works. The more coffee beans are there in your basket, the less they are being extracted while the water goes through them. Because if there is a smaller amount of them, then it will flow and flow and flow and the same beans will be extracted like bigger amount of time. So I think that's obvious. The bigger amount of coffee in the basket leads to a longer coffee flow. And why do I want to apply both of the ways? But just not to leave the same coffee grinder settings and to increase up to 18.5 grams. I am doing them both because from my experience, I know that if I actually liked the coffee, it was quite well, uh, quite good, but a little, maybe just a hint of over-extraction there. Then I need to change both. So I'm going to try, maybe no, no, I, I'm going to try it 8B, not A, even a smaller adjustment here. And by putting 18.3 grams of coffee beans. Let's try this and we will see how it goes. I don't like these situations. Mm. So what now? Great. Do not forget to grind all of the remains from the previous settings. So, let's see how... Oh, what's the matter with you? <laughs> it's
it already was 93. How? Why? For those who do not know, that's uh, temperature and uh, it's set at 93 degrees in my case. I think that's uh, a basis for every espresso machine. So don't worry about this. If you do not have this display, it's uh, likely to be 93 in your case. Uh, so finally, it is preheated. And now let's see what we will get on these settings. better it's not too fast I think so I stopped at 28 and got 31.8 so here it goes 28 seconds 31.8 grams let's try hmm. the crema are great let's try mm. now i like it more it's very um, full-bodied again no matter what it means <laughs> mm, it's not watery it's good But what I feel is that it can be improved a little bit. It's balanced um, a little bit sweet, but it moved a little bit towards bitterness now. It's not sour anymore, not this bad bitter sour. But I think that the extraction can be reduced even more slightly but more and now i can not do anything to the grinder settings and to the coffee beans fade mm, and uh, that's a mystery how i'm going to adjust it how what should i change now and i will show you what i'm going to change at this stage you remember what i told you before is that these two parameters let me show you one more time these are the primary two parameters that you are changing and uh, uh, that influence the taste of your coffee the drinks weight time of extraction and so on these are primary but at this stage when i got almost an ideal short it's really tasty i do not want to pour it away and uh, I think that I will drink too much coffees today, but anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, I am going to drink it. But to get uh, a perfect recipe, I'm gonna change not this, not this, but this. And that one uh, cannot be changed. This is a completely dependent parameter. So, it's time to change the extraction time without uh, leaving this in calm and peace. <laughs> so uh, let me think. I've told you that there was uh, like a slightly uh, annoying bitterness, just a little bit, but it was a little bit over extracted, despite of the fact that I reduced extraction here, but the flow was longer now and uh, here it was watery but a little bit over extracted but there it was i think it was almost perfect and this over extraction should be uh got get rid of got rid of uh not by trying to adjust this because i think they already work pretty well these settings i'm gonna change the extraction time just for one second by one second and this second, this additional second, I, I really believe so, uh, gives this additional uh, slightly annoying bitterness. Just one second and we will see what we will get. All the same and 
Let's do this. Not about the pressure. It's great. Twenty seven plus thirty point two. That's what I expected. Uh, this means that I am pressing my coffee tablet uh, uh, step stably. <laughs> so what have I got? That's why you should always write it down because you're going to forget it <laughs> like in thirty seconds. Sorry. Hmm. I am I can check. Wow. Point two. Great. <laughs> I am eager to try this. So so nice crema. I like it. Finally what I expected. But that would not be me if I was not trying to improve it a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like it, it's very concentrated now. And from my personal preferences, I know that it would be like that's 900, not 900. That's 99%. And I want to have 100 according to my... Uh, subjective personal tastes so that's too concentrated um, nevertheless it's uh, balanced but I want it to be just a little bit lighter and uh, that's why I'm gonna show you what I'm planning to do to make it just a little bit lighter I will use the same grinder settings and I will put 18.2 grams of coffee that's it all the rest is the same. As you understand, not exactly all the rest, because this variable will be what you are going to get according to all of these three. And a little bit lighter espresso means that it will be not 30.2 grams of coffee, but for instance 31, and it will make it. I think this will be great. But that's for tomorrow, because I've already drank too much coffee. Thank you, that's enough. So, the sponsor of this video is my increased heart rate and my sleepless night, because I decided to make it at 3 p.m. But nevertheless, I hope you like it and uh, I really hope that something of what I mentioned um, even slightly can help you and I would be glad for you because I've been there and uh, I hope that my method will work for you and uh, that you will be able to adjust your espresso recipe quickly. So, um, thank you for watching. Press like and uh, subscribe if you want. And uh, I will record another video about my coffee journey as an uh, amateur person. Good luck to you. Bye-bye.